Hello students. So now let's solve the problem based on the linear differential equation where right hand side of the equation is a polynomial or the x raised to m term. So in the previous video we have seen the process to solve such type of numericals and now here I have one numerical for you which we will be solving by using the steps which we have learned in the previous video. <music> So here we have the linear differential equation or higher order differential equation which we have to solve. Now guys if you see the right hand side that is the polynomial and to solve that polynomial just now we have seen the step. So I am going to just follow the step to get the answer. So on the screen you can see the steps. So accordingly step number one says that first find out the complementary function. So guys, let's find out the complementary function and for that I will convert this equation in terms of the operator d. So this will become d cube y minus this is d square y this is dy and so on. So I'll write down the steps or the terms. Now let's take y common, so we'll get So guys here we got the function of d, this is our right hand side and from this function of d we will find out the auxiliary equation and then the complementary function. So auxiliary equation is this function of d equal to 0 that means whenever we want auxiliary function we equate this function of d to 0. Now guys let's find out the roots. So here to find out the roots if you observe this equation carefully guys there are two methods to solve one is use the calculator in the calc just put this uh, the cubic equation and that calculator can give you three roots. So in the calculator normally the equation up to degree 3 or cubic equation can be solved directly but if you have the equation up uh, having the degree more than 3 then that time we have to use the synthetic division method. Now guys here that is one option and second option is uh, use the direct method. Now what is the direct method? Now guys if you see this formula then here this formula or this given expansion is, is the expansion of one formula and that is nothing but d minus 1 the whole cube. Just observe it that we have done one formula of a minus b the whole cube which is a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube and guys if you expand this given term by using that formula you get this terms. So here the value of d is 1, 1 and 1. So we get three roots all three are real and repeated. So in this case the complementary function is given by so this is the answer so here we have taken three constants c1 c2 c3 and one is the root so this e to the power 1x here this one is our root so these are the three constant and this is the root so this we have seen in the previous video and now if you don't know how we got this then you have to go back and revise that video now guys, let's move back and let's move to the question so here we got the complementary function for this given linear differential equation now let's find out the particular integral so particular integral which is also called as yp is given by the formula 
1 upon function of d. Now guys, in our case, this is our function of d. Or I may write this as d minus 1 the whole cube. So here I'll write d minus 1 the whole cube into the right hand side. So right hand side is 2x cube minus 3x square plus 1. Now guys, we have to find out the value of particular integral and for that we are going to use the rules which we have seen in the previous video. So, accordingly, what we do is, whenever the right hand side is x to the power m, we convert that f of d in the form of 1 plus or minus phi of d raised to n. Now in this case, if I take negative sign outside, I can get this function of d in this format. So here I'll take negative sign. So that will become negative 1 upon 1 minus d raised to 3. So I've taken that negative sign outside. Then remaining terms as it is. After that, we will take this term in the numerator so that it can get converted into one of these six formulae. So guys, these are the six formulae which we have seen in the previous video. So if I take this 3 or this term in the numerator, then that gets converted into this formula number 6. Then I can apply this formula. So, So guys, here I have written the formula which is 1 plus 3d plus 6d square plus 10d cube plus so on which is the formula of 1 minus d raised to minus 3 and then we have written the right hand side. Now what we will do is, we will apply this each and every term or the operator on the right hand side. So here we will get negative sign as it is. When I multiply this right hand side with 1, we will get all terms as it is, that is Now, this is 3d into this. So guys, 3 is a constant, we will keep it here only. We will apply the d, d, that is the derivative, we will find out the derivative of this function. So derivative of 2x cube is 6x square. So 6x square into 3 is 18x square. So we will get positive 18x square. Next derivative of this is negative 6x. Negative 6x into 3 is negative 18x. Derivative of 1 is 0. So we will get last term as 0. Now let us move ahead. 6d square that is the second derivative so let's find out the second derivative and multiply it with 6 so the first derivative is 6x square the second derivative is 12x so 12x into 6 is 72x here the second derivative first derivative is negative 6x second derivative is negative 6 negative 6 into 6 is negative 36 and last term that is 10 d cube that is third derivative so guys here we got the second derivative first derivative as 6x square then second derivative as 12x so the third derivative is 12 so 12 into 10 is 120 so guys this is the value now let's take this negative sign inside and at the same time, we will take the similar terms together. So here we have 
2x cube, we don't have any cubic term. So 2x cube will remain as it is with negative sign that will become negative 2x cube. Here we have minus 3x square plus 18x square that is 15x square. 15x square and negative sign. So negative 15x square. Then minus 18x plus 72x is positive 54x with the negative sign that will become negative 54x. And then the numbers that is 120 plus negative 36 which is 84 and 185 with the negative sign that will become negative 85 and guys this is the value of pi now we will say that final answer y is cf plus pi or yc plus yp now the value of cf i'll copy here And this is the value of pi that is and guys this is the complete solution or the final solution so here we got the solution of the given linear differential equation when right hand side is x to the power m and i'm sure that you understood the method which I have explained you. So guys, keep watching Ikeda channel and don't forget to subscribe to Ikeda channel because then only you'll be able to get updates about the latest videos that we are posting. Also, share this video with your friend so that they can also get benefits through ikeda.com. Thank you very much.